what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about the perfect overland bed rack for your third gen tacoma second gen tacoma or even tundra so behind me here we have the current version or current build of our third gen tacoma and i believe that we might be on the final phase of it i think this is kind of the perfect setup if not, you guys will see some changes in the future. But currently, I think this is the perfect setup. So if you guys have been following us for a while now, you guys know that we've had probably two or three different bed racks on this truck already. So the first bed rack we had was actually an RCI bed rack. And it was a mid-height, I believe it's 12 inches, and we had a sky camp mini on there which was perfect because it would just fit the bed rack perfectly it didn't overhang out the back or anything like that and then i had a kid and then so i wanted a bigger tent so that way i could take the kid camping and stuff like that and obviously have more room so of course what i did was i got a higher bed rack that we were able to fit a full-size tent on top the front of it would overhang the cab of the truck and that rack we actually had a up top overland one of my favorite racks of all time and then we wanted to have more storage and more importantly storage that we didn't have to climb up on to get so if you guys see right here i have a pelican cargo case mounted up top there and i love having storage you can never have enough storage and those of you guys who own a home and you guys know how much stuff you guys collect over time and storage is something you can just never have enough of so of course i have a pelican up there i also have a front runner case two of them on this side so i can have all my things together on the truck pretty much at all times so now we are going to show you guys the bed rack So this back here, this right here, this is the Lightner bed rack. This is my favorite bed rack to date just because of these storage pods called the gear pods. So here on the passenger side, we have the XL, which is the full size gear pod. It holds a ton of stuff. I'll open that for you guys a little bit later. And then on the driver's side, we have two. We have a small gear pod, and then we have what they call the medium one, or just whatever they call it on this side. Now let's take a look and show you guys what I got inside of these. So this is the small. This is gonna have some of my recovery gear, um, damping blanket, and uh, Factor 55 pulley. Uh, some other recovery stuff underneath there. Some shackles are in there as well. Soft shackles, hard shackles, all in there. And the cool thing is that they are lockable. And I really, really like that everything is um, accessible from the ground instead of having to climb on my sliders and go on the roof and grab all that stuff. So over here, this is the new medium one. I got some other stuff in here as well, some more recovery gut stuff. I took some stuff out of this as well. So there is some things that need to go back in, um, like my tackle box and stuff like that. On this side over here, we have the XL, which is their biggest gear pod. Open this up. These we just got here. These are their bags, super cool. I'm gonna open one up so I can show you guys what they look like on the inside of course and then you can buy them in the three pack where they'll give you these patches and you can label them 
any way you want. Of course, this is not tools, but I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put in them. Like I said, I just got them. So I got some sleeping pillows for me, the wife, hammock, the straps for the hammock. There's another one back there. The cool thing is like this right here. You can put, you know, extra stuff that is, you know, easily accessible. And they just hang right on the bedside there. So you can put utensils, you know, tools, random stuff that is just cool that just sits right on the bedside. The cover is transparent so you can see what's in them and easily grab them as well as these little pockets on each side. So these three are exactly the same. I think you can only fit three in the XL. You might be able to squeeze another one in there, but it's going to be pretty tight. So I'm going to save this for another, you know, something else to put there. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Pelican case, but the problem is, do you have to use your sliders? If you don't have handles, grab onto the rack, come up here, try to balance when you're on the trail and open this up. Obviously easier when you're on flat ground, but if you are on the trail and you're a little bit off camber like we are, then uh, it's, not as, it's not as easy. Obviously easier if you had two hands and not filming, but still, I still have to climb up here, but I still love this because I do love storage put stuff that I really really want to have with me at all times on the truck and that's also lockable you put a lock on the mount and you can put a lock on the case so that way nobody can get in it or try to steal it so pretty cool this version here this is the forged version a little more premium version obviously you can get the classic version as well but this one just looks so much cooler with the way these are forged, these are braced down there. And as you guys saw from the clip earlier, this thing is rock solid and it does not move at all. So obviously you guys can mount a rooftop tent to the Lightner. We have an iCamper X-Cover 2.0 here. The load bars on the Lightner extend out further. That way you guys have a bigger tent or if you guys wanna put something up there like plywood or anything you want you can have more space to do so and when you guys get this they have adjustable knobs up here so you can slide the rear load bar back and forth to whatever distance you guys want but this is a eye camper specific mount that we have on here and it mounts to the bottom of the tracks on the camper but if you guys don't want all storage like we do you guys can get a couple things there is a hydropod you guys can mount to the side that doesn't have the XL so like over here you guys can have a medium one and then a hydropod right here the hydropod is cool you can have onboard water with a um, what do you call that the head, the spray head, you can use it to spray dishes, wash your feet if you're at the beach, whatever. That's pretty cool. And then now they just came out with a detachable one so you can take it off the rack and then use it, let's say on the floor. You can have it on the floor, take it with you to the beach, the park, whatever. And then they also have other mounts. You can mount rotor packs. You can mount the recovery boards to the inside of the liner gear pods and stuff like that so there's a lot of cool things that you can attach to your lightener that you guys don't have to get all gear pods like me but since i wanted maximum storage that is exactly what i got i put all gear pods all around and they have the pelican and the front runner wolf pack on the roof rack as well so a lot a lot of storage but you guys can deck yours out however you guys would like it. I will have the link to the Lightner, all the other stuff that I mentioned in this video down in the description if you guys want to get it. We will have this at runningfortacos.com, of course. And then if you guys are new here, 
be sure to subscribe if you guys like Toyota content and let us know what you guys want to see and we will make it. So until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace.